Hi Libra, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general reading for the week of June 14th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by and as always if you're enjoying these videos please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Now um, if you're seeking a psychic reading contact me at JackieTomlin.com. If we have an extended reading today or anything else I offer will be in the description box below this video and you will find that by looking for the arrow. Want to give a shout out to all the dads out there. Happy Father's Day and to let you know that next week, the actual week of the 14th when we're looking at the week of the 21st, those videos will be live super chat. So if you have not already, please be sure you hit that notification bell. If you miss me live, they will be on the channel's weekly playlist. Okay, so let's get started. We're looking at Libra. This is the week of June 14th. First thing I see, um, you're reuniting with someone from your past. And before you're ready to shoot the messenger, this is someone you're happy to reconnect with. Um, there's also a caution to slow down. And something here that says you're going to have to dig for your patience. A Sagittarius may resonate with some of you guys. Um, you can expect a music venue coming up. Not necessarily week of the 14th, but it's there. So I'll throw that out there. You're under the era of a new beginning. Keep your thoughts positive. It's time to make decisions you're putting off. This could be a quick moving week. Okay, so let's get started. Your first card up is the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords tells me that you're defensive. Okay, I'm not sure what you're defensive about, but it's telling me to let, let your guard down because there's no reason here for you to be that defensive. Star coming in, wish fulfillment. But, yes, there is a but. Any delays this week of the 14th are actually in your favor. So just be warned of that. Moving forward, we have the Eight of Swords, Libra. This is the card of self-imposed restrictions. This indicates to me that no one is holding you back at this time, but you. Moving forward from there, we have the world, okay? And the world says just that. The world is your oyster, okay? Um, everything is right there at your fingertips. In the center of the reading, temperance. Temperance coming in with that Sagittarius energy. This says... Um, you have embraced and acknowledged that, you know, when you do the same thing, you get the same result. Therefore, you're changing things up, okay, with a positive result. Eight of Cups, okay. Something you've been beating yourself up from the past, and I'm going to say this perhaps has something to do with your love life. You're now walking away from. You're closing the door, finally, and moving forward. Then we have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups coming in as a celebration. I want to throw out that word unexpected. Don't forget we're under that retro until the 22nd, the time frame of the unexpected. Um, this could be an unexpected event or an unexpected get together, but it is a celebration. And then we have the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Swords coming in with a loss of sleep. And why, where, or why are we losing sleep, Libra? You're overthinking things. Get out of your head. And we have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant says, keep your thoughts, keep your energy positive. Because you have a quick turnaround on manifesting what you want to see happen. Alrighty. I say we take this deck here and let's start clarifying. And we're going to start up top of that Five of Swords of you being defensive. Let's go further with this for my Libras. Libra, we have <laughs> the Queen of Swords, okay? Uh, this could be a Virgo energy. This is someone with a sharp tongue. This is probably why you're so defensive. Someone that could get a little catty with you, maybe lash out a little bit, but I don't see a confrontation. Now, on the star, look at there. There's the Magician. Highest card in the tarot deck. This is your yes answer. This absolutely says... You get everything you want and desires right there on the table before you. And with that, we have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords coming in with a major arcana of justice. Justice in your favor no matter what you do. And you know what? Whatever this justice is, it restores your balance. Now, for some of you, this could be the signing of a contract. 
could be a large lease or purchase. This could be the sale of a home, the purchase of a home. Um, this could be a legal document. This could be a court case. It is in your favor. It restores your balance. And beside that, we have the world bringing in that fat, happy cat of the nine of cups. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment, total happiness, and total contentment. On top of temperance, I've got Poseidon, the emperor. This is that dominant, prominent person. Take charge, take person. Someone who comes in to almost like save the day for you. And then on that, we have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups comes in with the Four of Cups, unexpected offer of love. With that, I've got the Three of Cups. Three of Cups coming in. Celebration comes with the Tower. Okay. So, there's a Tower moment. This is your temper. Okay. This bottom line means someone has pissed you off. This is probably, from what I'm gathering here, you venting. And we all need to do that at certain times. It's going to bring about sudden change. It's going to come in quickly. It's going to leave quickly. And I have never, ever, ever have I seen a tower card moment that did not lead to something better. Just want to throw it out there. Nine of Swords comes in with the devil. This is probably who you're going to vent to. There is someone shady in your circle. So I have to tell you, you know, keep your eyes open. Could be that sharp turn, Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Just giving you what I see here. And we have on the hair font the Two of Wands. This is travel plans. By water, river, lake, ocean, future travel plans. Bonus card for the center. Oh, wow. Seven of Wands, I think, is the best energy in this deck. And the Seven of Wands says it's about you. You're working on you. Uh, that journey inward, you are getting things done, you are checking things off the to-do list, you have got a goal, you are focused, you are centered. Okay, Libra. With that said, I mean, we got the tower card moment, we know what that's about. Overriding your entire reading, you're sitting here with the star of wish fulfillment, the nine of cups, the wish fulfillment, and ultimately the magician saying you get everything you want and desire. So with that said, I have no reason to extend your reading this week. So thank you guys for watching. JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings. You have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.